watched these launches before but this one was really unique for me because I knew that I built something that is over there going to orbit. Skycraft separation confirmed. When you see that it's detached from the SpaceX and tumble into the darkness that was really uh, exciting for me that okay it's done. Stressful rather than uh, exciting to be honest because we have to finish everything in one week and It's a deadline. They are assembling the whole satellite and ours goes in the middle. So we have to deliver it on time This is the first time that naphthalene is used as a propellant for the thruster Essentially you have a box and you fill it with uh, naphthalene Mothballs. So you might say why do you use that? Well, it sublimates, which means that it goes from a solid to a gas straight off. Uh, it doesn't have to go through a liquid. If you have a liquid in space, there's no gravity, so it doesn't stay where it should. So it's heating crystals of naphthalene and opening a door or a valve. That's it. So as long as you can control your valve, you can have thrust. It is a gorgeous stuff, actually, except for moths. It's a game changer as in a way that we will give a new thruster to a market that wasn't exist before. So this is the first one in the whole world. And we will add another option, Australian one, with the flight heritage to go to the market. So this is really starting to do the final assembly before it's delivered to Skycraft. The fuel tank is ready now, so then you have to assemble the other mechanical part. And it, here you can see the propellant is integrated into the frame and the frame is the interface with the Skycraft spacecraft. This is really hard. So we have to spend a lot of time to manage to just qualify this thing to go to space. Just to launch a brick into space is one thing, but to launch something into space to get it to work, we know that it's really hard. <laughs> it takes a lot of time a lot of work, a lot of money to send anything into space. But if you're going to sell something that's going into space, you can't nick up there and uh, change something. You have to make sure that it will work for as long as it's up there. The requirement for the material, for the testing, all these things is huge. When the rocket launched to orbit, you see the way that it starts. The payload on that rocket is going to feel a lot of uh, force on. You have to shake it really hard to, to be sure that it doesn't break. You can see. Yes, you can see it rotates. <laughs> so hopefully it will survive, it doesn't break down at the end of this test. So let's try again with a lower gain yeah. and, and see if you can get higher overall. End of test. That, that was good. That's good. That's good. That was good. We decided to develop all that we needed to space qualify this thruster. And this was a schedule for the ride share program by uh, Skycraft. Skycraft, when they saw how well it operated in our tests here, which we could show them, show them the thrust, how much it would move their spacecraft, then they decided to buy them. I was. I was so pleased. Uh, uh, that was really great. So with local companies, uh, with a fantastic interaction within, uh, with the university, we are just tracing the path forward. And this is the final installation and integration inside the satellite and that's it. We are not going to see the work on anymore. This is the goodbye. Now that I'm looking at the space and say, OK, this is equipment that's orbiting now, which I, I spend a year on it to build it. 
the fact that we managed to do it was really amazing for us. It's so exciting that we are trying not to be too excited, right? We still have to, <laughs> because we have to develop and uh, deliver Bogon 1.1, so we need to be focused. So we have not opened the champagne bottle just yet. We're waiting. <laughs>